Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the weekend, which is the 19th through the 22nd. So let me call on Spirit Guide and my higher self to guide and protect me in this reading and to let me be aware of the message being given to me so I can give that message to you, the viewer. Keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone, okay? So take what does and leave what doesn't. And this is the energies for the 19th through the 22nd of July. What are the energy spirit guides, guardian angels? What are the energies here? Wow. Queen of Wands in reverse. The Five of Swords. I mean the Seven of Swords, I'm sorry. The Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles. And the Devil. Okay, so right off the bat... I'm sensing that, you know, there is some faulty conditions around, okay? Could be around you, around the people that you're hanging out with. I don't know. It's somewhere in the area, period, okay? Um, because we have the Seven of Swords here, this is like greed. This is envy. This is not telling the truth. This is lying, stealing, cheating, okay? So, and I got this energy of, you know, not wanting to take part in it. This person could definitely be not wanting to take part in a situation, okay? Um, and there is unconditional love that's overflowing within this person. And I, I definitely feel that's why this person is not taking... Exactly, we have the Two of Cups here. What I say? You know, there is some sort of connection involved in a situation. There could be... A third party situation that's wanting to come towards you, get at you or whatever, but you're not going to have it because it's like, you know, you know who your love is and you know who you want. Okay, so you're sticking to your true feelings, to your true beliefs and this unconditional love. It just keeps on coming and coming and coming. This could be someone new as well, but it's like you're not going back. You're not you're making a decision to not, you know, participate with this catty behavior okay um there's a sense of needing to stay focused as well with the eight of pentacles um needing to stay focused not don't give up on what you believe in you know you have this unconditional love here with this two of two of cups so there's a sense that there is a love a romantic love okay that's that's right there with you, okay, that you know this person, who this person is. I feel like, you know, um, for some of you, there is a sense of, you know, not putting much effort into it or, you know, is it that you need to pull away from the situation? I don't know, but with the Eight of Pentacles here, it's like, there's a sense that, you know, maybe it is that, you're needing to get away. You're, you know, you're needing to remove yourself from this busy load from working so much, you know, um, so that you can have focus on your uh, relationship and the people that are around you, you know, or is that you need to pay more attention to your work so that you can um, relieve yourself from this karmic situation, you know. Let's see what the Seven of Swords holds. Okay, so whatever is hidden is definitely being exposed within this moon, within this full moon energy, because we have the full moon here. This is the moon that is exposing everything. It's releasing. Um, I feel that, you know, there is a sense of competition here. So um, for some of you, you could be... Um, <clears throat> You could be avoiding this situation altogether with the Five of Wands. And you could realize that there are that there are people that want to, you know, block this love that you're having with this counterpart here with this Two of Cups and this Ace of Cups here. 
I feel like there's a power struggle going on either with you or with people around you. Um, and it's a very strong, powerful energy because it would be showing up in this spread as well. Um, it's something that you can't deny that you, you know, so. Um, I'm definitely sensing that there's a lot of fear, okay? So it's saying don't lose, don't lose your focus with your everyday work, okay? Um, stay focused with what you do every day. Don't let this overwhelm you. Um, there is a sense with the Queen of Wands here of, you know, just not taking any action, not giving it any power, okay? Um, not giving this Nine of Swords any power. Um, this is about, you know, this could be about grief. You could be um, knowing that you have this unconditional love is unfolding, you know. Um, you could be getting downloads as well with the Nine of Swords here. This Nine of Swords energy, it brings... Um, it brings almost too much clarity to some. This is like a worrying over and over and over and over again. So this is a need to release that anger, okay? Um, yeah, it's like, you know, and you do, you have that power. It's like you're not staying focused on this energy right here. You know you have to release it, and you're not giving it any energy, okay? But it's there. It's, you know, it's there. And this is that this is that true love coming in. This is that a uh, love coming in with the two of cups here. I feel like this individual is wanting to offer you a new um, start in a relationship. They could be a new person as well. They could be younger than you, or you could be younger than them with this page of cups here. But I'm sensing it's the other person. Um, I feel that this person uh, will give you a chance to make a decision if you don't know already that they are a perfect match for you or will be a candidate for you, okay? Um, it's like you don't want to take any action with whatever. Whatever is bothering you here with the Nine of Swords, I'm going to pull a, a clarifying card. Whatever is bothering you here is definitely uh, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What is this energy with the Nine of Swords? Well, I pulled the Nine of Swords again. Wow, okay, so let's get one more card. You know, it's it's almost like you can't turn this off. Like it's like you try to, but the hair of font No the high priestess. It's your intuition. It's like you know, you you know what to do, you know. You you already know what to do. It's listening to your intuition. Um I feel like your intuition is on high right now within this full moon eclipse. We're going through this cycle. Yeah, Ace of Coins. This new beginning is wanting to arise. Okay. Um, and you know this. This new beginning is wanting to arise. And it's like... You know, we have the High Priestess here. Um, you're being pulled to, to a new beginning, um, to new thoughts, to new realities, to, um, a new phase could be within this relationship. It could be, you know, with just you. Okay. But I am sensing there's someone involved. Okay. With uh, going with you along your path. Um, so we had the Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely someone coming. Yeah, we had the Knight of Cups that popped out right here. So this is an individual that is coming towards you. Wow. Okay, so... Okay, either someone is going to come right on in. Okay, someone's going to come right on in. Let me turn this. Sorry, you guys. So, someone's going to come right on in. Um, they could come right on in, especially with the tower right here. They could just pop up in your life, you know. Uh, but it, it's, it's almost like you're thinking too much about the past. 
and about how someone or somebody within your past um, maybe there was a situation where you and this individual had relationships but I'm, I'm sensing you know this person you know who it is I feel like in the past there you tried to make things work together and there was something that just happened it just you know sort of blew up in your face with the tower right there um um what is this tower spirit guides yeah and i'm sensing that it could definitely be um that karmic situation that you're having to let go okay of You have to make a bold decision here with the Queen, Queen of Swords. This could definitely be making that decision to release. The Ten of Coins. So this is about, you know, having that groundedness. Um, you know, this is every, this is like that, that final resting place. That you, you've worked very hard for. This is like your family as well. Um, you know, look at the treasure chest right here. All the riches. This is working really hard to get what you want in the physical. And we have the hermit card. So um, this is not introspect. This is um, just... What is it that you have to do within the physical? Okay. Um, we have the Nine of Coins. This is taking care of yourself. You could be dealing with the Capricorn as well with this double card here. Maybe it is that, uh, you know, this thoughts and beliefs that are surrounding you are causing you to... Um, seclude yourself with the hermit card in reverse or you could be dealing with the virgo we have the ten of wands as well this is a heavy burden for you okay not only is it a heavy burden for you but it's like this this devil right here is all fear based it's all around you know how are you know it's like you have this fear base of is this going to work is this going to work out you know um you're questioning it a lot um And it's saying to go ahead and release those energies because those energies is what's going to hold you back from this start. Okay, yeah, it's definitely the Seven of Wands. It's like you're blocking this energy from coming in towards you. Okay, you're blocking this energy. You're, blo you're, you're blocking this new beginning. That's why the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay, you're blocking this energy from coming towards you. Not only are you blocking it, but there is a sense of... You know, needing to take things in moderation, needing to make things work, okay? Um, this is a sense of, you know, take it in moderation, take things slowly. There's a solution for your problem, okay? You just have to not rush so much, okay? Um, let me see what the Six of Cups is here. The Queen of Coins. Yeah, this is about, you know, um, possibly in the past you had everything or you tried to help with this situation and it didn't fall through. It didn't go through. You know, you were the Queen of Coins. You were the one giving, giving, um, and holding on with the relationship that you and this individual have together, um, like I said, you could have, you could be dealing with some, like, you know, uh, yeah, you're totally thinking about the past and thinking about going back to this person. Um, yeah, 
It's that energy of breaking free with the Eight of Swords here. Not seeing yourself in the same situation that you was. It's like you don't, it's like you love this person, you like this person, but you don't want to see, you don't want to be in the same situation that you was in before with this individual because it didn't work out, okay? So you want things to change, okay? So let's see what this other, let's see what the, uh, let's hear from the other person as well. So I feel like this individual here is definitely, we have the two of swords. This is a decision that he's having to make, okay, um, or she, let's see. Yeah, they're, I feel like they're definitely making a decision with you. Um, yeah, and they're definitely coming towards you, okay? This individual is definitely going to be coming towards you within this relationship, okay? Um, he is going to be com coming to you, Divine Feminine. He is going to be coming to you, okay? Um, and I say that because we have the Knight of Cups right here. You're thinking about this person. You know this person is coming back to you, okay? But there's a strong energy where this individual is coming back to you. And it's like, you know this person. You know that you're divine masculine, okay? You are not taking action with him. And you're not... You have... You're thinking about him. You can't stop thinking about him, but you've taken a break as well. And I'm sensing that this individual is coming towards you. That's why you're thinking a lot about him. It's like you have that ESPN, okay? There's a sense of uh, this individual healing. Um, it's taking time. He wants you to know it's taking time. And it is a heavy burden that he's having to pull. It's a, it's a heavy load he's pulling to heal himself. With the star card here, it could be Aquarius as well. Um, we have Scorpio, Capricorn, you know, every sign. But I'm just showing the ones right on the table. We have fire sign, water sign, air sign. Um... There is a, a big a sense here um, about healing, you know. It's like it's not happening fast enough for him. This unconditional love is definitely, um, wow. This unconditional love is, is turning within the favor. It's turning in your favor, Divine Feminine. I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of giving and receiving within this relationship from both sides, from both parties. Um, trying to stay on top and releasing the past is definitely a situation for this individual. Um, and when I say releasing the past, we have the Death card and we have the Eight of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. So this is trying to stay on top, to stay afloat. And you see this balance? This individual is trying to stay balanced here, you know, trying to release the past, start new, release any anguish that is holding him back, okay? Um, and that's sort of like what you're doing as well, okay, Divine Feminine? Um, but let's just look at this Capricorn here. So... Good news is coming. I feel like he's definitely moving towards you with the Nine of Cups. He's like, you know, look, let's let's touch our let's touch the stars, you know. Let's make our dreams come true here. Wow, very strong energy is coming through. This individual is holding on to a relationship with you. He's not giving up, okay? Um, I'm sensing there is a lot of heartache, a lot of pain here um, with the Three of Swords. Um, and there's clarity too. Why? Why is this person in a lot of heartache? Because he's emotionally unstable. And it's like his intuition is telling him this, okay? Um, and there is a sense that, you know, um, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra. There's a sense of knowing the truth behind the matter, needing to speak, needing to speak it out, needing to talk it out. Okay, and take things slowly. Wow, very strong energy is coming through for the week, for the weekend. Okay, so let's pull some uh, Lenormand cards here. I just want to see what the message is going to be with the Lenormand cards. Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is the message coming through? Weekend love energy reading for this spread. Okay, so, the 
there's definitely something going on here because we have the snake and we, there's someone bad around divine masculine and when I say bad I mean someone that is lying don't don't listen to these people okay there's someone giving you false information here or could be giving this individual false information okay and the reason why I say that is because you know um the snake is someone, especially with the mask, this is someone wearing a mask trying to pull you in many different directions here, okay? It's also trying to, um, you know, split you apart, make, you know, it's like trying to split you apart with you and your divine masculine or your divine feminine. This is a strong, like, energy here that's... It could be, um... Let's see who this person is here. Yeah, it's like this person is is your divine masculine here, but I feel like there's someone telling him something. You know, this man is stable though. This man is is he has a strong sense of stability and he knows where he's going, okay? So this individual who is speaking, yeah, they're yeah, it's this person is only digging their own grave here. And when I say that, he's releasing this, okay? He's definitely opening the door for them to go. This person could definitely be moving as well. Could be getting in a house. Oops. Yeah, so I picked these two cards up. And there's this connection where you are, you know, this is a bridge here, you know. And... You feel left out in the cold as well as the Divine Masculine, but there is a sense that this Knight of Wands is taking action to move closer towards you, okay? This is, you know, um, let's see. Yeah, so where there's a sense of isolation, you will be receiving a gift. Or you, or, or this is an energy of... You know, the loneliness with the tower card here. This is a sense of loneliness. Um, and, you know, feeling as though as you have been left out in the cold. Or they have felt like they have been left out in the cold. Um, these energies, especially with the mask card here. This could be just someone popping up. This could be a Libra, Gemini, Aries. I mean, Aquarius. Okay. Um, this could be just someone popping up, saying things that are, you know, misleading, misguiding, um, trying to persuade this individual, but I don't see, uh, I don't see the divine masculine, masculine listening to it as well. This individual could be lying. I know he's lying. There is an individual lying to the divine masculine right now about you, okay? That makes the situation real stagnant. It's like, you know, I'm not listening to it. Divine Masculine's like, no, I'm not giving it any power. This is probably what is going to be, he might confront you this weekend or whatever the situation may be. Yeah, he might send you a message. I feel like this, is, he might send you a message. He definitely might send you a message, okay? Um, with the Four of Cups within the night. It could be within the night because we have the moon card here. He could be sending you a romantic message um, coming your way. Um, but there is a sense that there is a sense that this individual here is making it. There is an individual that is leading the divine masculine astray or trying to. Okay, but it's not going to happen. I don't see it happening. I want to pull some energy cards here for um, the weekend. Weekend love energy reading. Weekend love energy reading. What is the cards coming through? Spirit guides, guardian angels, what are the cards coming through? This is the um, romance angels. We have wedding. Wow. So you could be... Some of you could be ascending to a higher perspective in your relationship if you just give it a chance. If you give your relationship a chance, they're wanting to give their relationship a chance, okay, with you. It 
It says release your ex. Yeah. So you need to release your ex or they're needing to release an ex. Um, this could be that karmic partner. This could be that, that person that is pulling them, trying to steer them in the wrong direction. And they have to make a bold decision to cut them loose. Okay. Um, it's like this person is holding a letter right here. It's like he knows, you know, he knows. And this is that message that he could be re you could be receiving as well. You know, give your relationship a chance. You have to let go fully of the past. And I, f I definitely feel like um, you could be married or, you know, you could be getting married if you just release this energy. Um, this situation involves a wedding. So you could be in a marriage or leaving a marriage or... Or, you know, you could be ascending to um, a higher perspective within your relationship with this individual who's, who's going to be sending you a message. Very strong energy is coming through. I wanted to pull a card here from the Mystical Shaman because I really love these cards. And um, we'll, let, we'll wrap this reading up. So, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Alright, so we have... Wild woman. <laughs> Alright, so what I want to do is, you know, it is the full moon too, so you guys. <clears throat> okay, so 62. Okay, it says. When the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Devastated Dev of all social constructants and culture conform conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your self-essential self. To your essential self. The true essence of who you are. Who are. Who you're meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within each of us. That gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us. By the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present to life. We must uncover the light and let it shine brightly. Regardless of the perceived consequences. When the wild woman comes to dance in your reading, you are invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to the engage the world. This is a symbol that your long-held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit in the box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have courage and step into the light. The wild woman says, shine brightly, dance with abandon, and be yourself. And let the great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. Wow, that's beautiful. So this is about like, you know, breaking free. Breaking free, releasing yourself. Not caring what people think. Okay? Thank you so much.